Marhaba everyone, I'm on a plane headed to Al Imarat Al Arabiya Al Mutahida, or which is more commonly known as in the US, the United Arab Emirates. The United Arab Emirates is a small country in the Middle East that is bordered by Saudi Arabia, Oman, Qatar, and the Persian Gulf. Across the land from the Persian Gulf is bordered by Iran and you consider its neighbors Iraq and Kuwait. This is a very highly contested area because it is the center of the oil uh, trading. The United Arab Emirates was formed on December 2nd, 1971. Previously, the Emirates were ruled by the British, but in 1971, the British decided that they were going to withdraw from the United Arab Emirates. Therefore, the different sections of the Emirates decided that they should combine to form one country. So, the, Emir the sections of Abu Dhabi, Ajman, Dubai, Fujara, Um al Kaiwan, Ras al Khaima, and Sharjah uh, agreed to become one country under the name of the United Arab Emirates. The United Arab Emirates is a country made up of about 4 million Arab speaking people. 96% of these people have, are Muslim, and most of those are Sunni Muslim. The United Arab Emirates is a federation ruled by a president. Right now, the president is Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nahman. The president is elected every five years by a council by council members. There are seven council members, one from each of the Emirates. One political issue that faces the Emirates today is that until very recently, the people of the Emirates did not have voting rights. The government was in dispute as whether or not to give the nation the people voting rights because they generate so much money through the oil industry that they don't have to tax the people. So if they don't have to tax the people, they don't need to be represented in the government. However, since the country is an economic, has grown into an economic superpower, the people need to be more involved in deciding who is in the government. So, in 2006, the government created the Federal National Council, which would become the legislative branch of the country. And they decided that half of the people of the council would be appointed by the government that already existed, and the other half would be elected by the people of the United Arab Emirates. There are also other issues that plague the people of the United Arab Emirates. For instance, there are always the people who must juggle their lives based on their religious life and their social life. Because the majority of the population of the United Arab Emirates is Muslim, they are very respectful toward the Islamic culture. However, the United Arab Emirates is a very modernized, western, civilized culture, and when the two clash, it's very hard to balance them. So, very quickly, some, a person can go from the scene of this with the mosque and the call to prayer and switch it to this. I go from the mosque and then I go to the nightclub. The Islamic tradition teaches that men should not have sexual relations with women before they are married. Yet, when they go to the nightclub, they're have the temptation of trying to do things that should, they should not do under the Islamic religion. So it is a very difficult situation to balance. On another note, due to the wealth of oil that the United Arab Emirates has, their economy has boomed and has become tremendously rich in recent times. This amount of money has allowed the Emirates to embark on numerous technologically advanced projects to bring attract even more tourists and generate even more money. As you can see behind me, there is a island in the shape of a palm tree. This is just one of the projects that the Emirates has embarked on. It was a project designed that would make three separate artificially man-made islands off the coast of the United Arab Emirates to for resort purposes. Um, they also have agreed to begin a project called Dubai Land, which would create the world's largest amusement park. 
As you can see, the UAE is not just another Arab country. It is a country that is very modern and open to new ideas, which is shown in their recent willingness to trade with Israel and their long-standing positive attitude with the United States. The UAE is a booming nation that perhaps one day will reshape the Arab world. Well, thanks for joining me. I'm headed back to America. Ma salame.